welcome to another video, another day of April, another video, and today, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, I have a Tales by Mailbox to unbox. I can't remember the theme of this, I should have checked my emails beforehand, but the lovely ladies at Tales by Mail asked if they could send me a box, and here it is. This is the April box. They're bi-monthly. They only send a box out every other month. Um, so I think this is the March-April box. If you're not familiar with what Tales by Mail is, it's a middle grade subscription box. There's usually two books, like a selection of pages for the Chronicle, which is like activities for kids to do, reviews of the books, etc, and a few knickknacks as well. It's, in my opinion, a really great middle grade box because it lacks a lot of the larger items that kids don't really need <laughs> um, but has the important bit. It's got two books and activities for the kids so that they pay attention to the books. I just think it's a really nifty subscription box and I'm happy to be opening this one. So let's have a look. Oh, oh, they've given me a code. Dear Jade, thanks so much for sharing your unboxing of our April box. We've created a referral code for your followers. If they enter JDRay5 at checkout, they'll receive a 5% discount on their subscription. That's a surprise. I didn't know that. Um, awesome. Thank you very much to Tales by Mail Team for that. Um, so yeah, you can use JDRay5 to get 5% off. Surprise! <laughs> Ooh, Tales by Mail, the bookshop. ukbookshop.org slash shop slash Tales by Mail. Discover recommended reads, perfect for book lovers aged 8 to 12. Keep them stocked up with books until their next Tales by Mail subscription. Support small businesses and independent bookshops. Oh, cool. So they've made like an online bookshop on the ukbookshop.org site. Um, which supports independent bookshops. That's really nifty. And then we actually get into the box and the cute little chameleon. Let's see what we have. Right, so first things first on top. Out in the wilderness, that's what it is. So first thing on top, we have the Chronicle pages. So these are hole punched. Can, can you see hole punched? So that they can go in the Chronicle, which is, this is the thing that I think is so unique about this box. So you have a cover page for the box, then you have information about the box, uh, what's inside the box, the theme for the next month, etc. And then we have a page for book one with what the book's about and then my review and how many stars. And then the author letter on the other side and then book two, because you get two books in these boxes. Um, and then the letter from the author that side. And then the activity sheets, um, which is questions and then you work out the code. And then on the back, crafty task, get in touch with nature, save the world. So it's just like another piece of activity there. And I think this is, as I say, what makes this box so unique and so engaging for its target audience. I very much want to get my sister a subscription to this, but she's she's in that age where she's like stubbornly not reading at the minute. Like she used to really want to read and she used to love seeing me get my fairy loot boxes and stuff and she'd be like, oh, I want to get a book box. And I was like, great, I'm going to get you Tales by Mail. But now she's in that stubborn age where she's like, no, I don't want to read. I want to sit on YouTube, which is fine. Like, okay, but like, read a book. <laughs> So when she's out of that phase, I'm gonna have to invest because I think this is brilliant. Um, so yeah, we've got the Chronicler pages there. Then we have, ooh, what is this? Is this like a, a scarf or a bag? I think this is a scarf or like some sort of head, no, scarf. It's one of those like, oh. Do you know what I mean? What does the thing say it is? Is it a scarf? Snood. That's what it is. It's a snood. And it's got polar bears. It's got polar bears and mountains and snowy trees and compasses and boots and backpacks. I really like it. But uh, yeah, it's like a stretchy sort of material so that you can... I don't want to like ruin my hair and makeup, but you know, like you put it over your head and then you can like lift it up over your ears and like over your face and stuff. I think that's really cool. And a unique item. I've never seen one of them before. I like it. 
and the pattern's very pretty as well. Next, we have The Weather Weaver. This looks pretty by Tamsin Mori. Um, what if you could befriend a cloud? What weather would you choose? What if the weather matched itself to your mood, whether you wanted it to or not? And then we have a little signed book plate in there as well. Interesting. Nature lover Stella is delighted to return to the middle of nowhere Shetland Islands and reunite with her grandfather. Her summer takes an unexpected turn when she meets a mysterious woman who befriends clouds, summons storms, and captures rainbows. While she watches in awe, this young apprentice realises that she has a few of her own weather tricks up her sleeve and they're about to become very useful. Sounds like fun! And the cover is really quite beautiful. <laughs> and then we have a matching promotional bookmark there. Oh, and here's the pin for the month as well, which has got the same pattern as like the the cover and the snood with the polar bear and the tree and the compass and the map and the bag and the boot and the sun. Very pretty. And then we have Melt. This excites me. Um, Melt by L Fountain and we have the signed book plate there that's just slipped out. What is this one about? An urgent story of adventure and survival in a warming climate from the multi-award winning author of Boy 87 and Lost. Yu Tu lives in a remote arctic village with his elderly grandmother. Their traditional way of life is threatened by the changing snow and ice, which melts faster every year. B is trying to adapt to yet another new school. Worse still, her father's new job takes up any spare time and his behaviour has become odd and secretive. On a trip she hopes will fix things, their fates take a drastic turn, and Bee's life becomes entwined with u in a way she could never have imagined. Together, they become locked in a desperate race for survival. This excites me, because this makes me think of Polathon, for one. Specifically, a meltdown. I'll leave it at that. That is exciting. Let's see what the slip says. In a remote snowy arctic tundra, rising temperatures threaten the traditional future of Yutu and his grandmother. When he embarks on a misguided hunting mission, his troubles collide with those of B, a runaway girl. Together, Yutu and B set out on an epic race across icy landscapes, uncovering dark secrets, evading capture, and battling sub-zero temperatures. This sounds really good! I really like the, like, the weathery theme. Not necessarily a theme that I would think of. Um, but out in the wilderness, the weathery, the weathery sort of theme we've got here. Let me just stick that bookmark in there properly. Oh, and we have a bookmark for Melt here as well. So they both have matching, well not matching bookmarks, um, but the bookmark matches the book. So that's exciting. They are our two main books. We've got our Chronicler pages and our Snud and our badge. So that is the main portion of this box. And do you see what I mean? Like it's actually quality useful stuff. Like the pin is just a little fun thing to collect with each box. But then we've got the books, which is obviously the main reason. The chronicle pages for that engagement with the kids. And then the snood as something fun. There's always something fun. However, what's great about this box is that there's then an additional book. This box has three books in it. They don't usually have three, but this one's a little bit special. Um, and this is Hope Jones Saves the World by Josh Lacey. Hi, my name's Hope Jones. I'm giving up plastic to save our oceans. Giving up plastic is really hard. There's so much everywhere. In the supermarket, my classroom, our bathroom, and grown-ups don't seem to care. Luckily, I have my friend Harry to help me. Together, we're going to save the world. This sounds cute. Aw, and it's like a blog. Hope Jones blog. Hello, welcome to my blog. My name is Hope Jones. I'm 10 years old. I'm gonna save the world. It's all told in this, like, blog, blog format. Oh, this sounds really cute. So this is clearly about Hope Jones, who's 10 years old and wants to save the world and stop pollution and recycle and save the ocean. And that's really cute. I really like that. And again, fits perfectly with that like weathery theme that we have going on. So this is super exciting. Three books that I'm excited to read. The Chronicler Pages, The Snood, The Badge. Look at that quality. Absolute quality. I'm super excited about this. Amazing.
Once again, thank you so much to the girls at Tales by Mail for sending me this box. And I will say again, we have a discount code of JDRay5 if you want to subscribe. I will leave a link and that code down below for you to go and check them out. If you're into middle grade, I do think this is a fantastic quality middle grade subscription box, especially if you're in it for the books, because their selection of books has been fantastic. Um, I'm a big fan. Big support of Tales by Mail. I think what they're doing here with this is fantastic. And it's the real promotion for like the kids to read the books and pay attention to the books. I just think the Chronicle with the pages, with the review and the activity is such a fantastic idea and what makes this book so unique. So I'm a big fan. Thank you once again to Tales by Mail for sending me this box. If you have liked the look of it, oh, I just dropped the box. <laughs> if you've liked the look of this box, let me know. Let me know down below if you've heard of any of these books or if you'd be interested in in reading any of them. I know I definitely am and the snud is super cute. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down below. Thank you for joining me for another day of Vida um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!